This is Dennis Pitzenbarger, Power Auto Media 2013 Performance Racing Industry Show, and I'm with Brad Lewis from Turbonetics. Brad, I want to talk about the joining of two great companies, Wabtech and Turbonetics, and what that means to the overall scope of the company. Well, Turbonetics has, you know, been around since uh, 1978, and in July of this year, we were acquired by Wabtech Corporation, uh, which is the Westinghouse Airbrake Technologies. They've been around for a long time. It, uh, it's a really great uh, opportunity for Turbonetics to continue growth. And Wabtech guys, a great bunch of guys to deal with. Um, they're interested in growing the company, continuing to grow the company. Brad, what does it mean in the scope of technology what the partnership brings to the table? Well, it gives us a lot more resources than we've had in the past. So what, what that means is that Wabtech is uh, roughly 10,000 people strong globally, and they've got a lot of resources globally, so it allows us to pull in a lot of engineering and aerodynamics and bearing structure folks globally. Does that mean that you'll have more assets on the engineering side to be able to take the technologies farther? Absolutely, yes. What type of technology will, the, will benefit most from that, in your opinion? It's really going to be along the aerodynamic side and bearing structure side. We're seeing more and more uh, applications across the power generation world, military world, and of course the performance world. On a basis of the reach with the two companies joining forces, how will that affect your ability to get these products and that technology out to more people? Well, Webtech has a global distribution and most of their applications are in the rail industry, but they have distribution globally and, and a lot of other segments as well. One of the things that we can't forget is the sexy part of Turbonetics and the performance. I know that I'm very safe in saying that we will not see the sexy go away when it comes to building performance and building beautiful cars. Absolutely. I mean, that's kind of our roots, where we came from. And it's still a, a very good test bed area for us to play in. Talk about some of the new products. I know that you just launched the TNX series. Also, one more other launch you're talking about here at PRI. The TNX is the main one. And we'll start releasing those in the first quarter of 2014. And it's an all new aerodynamics, all new bearing structure. So it's a dual ball bearing, dual ceramic ball bearing. Uh, very unique bearing system, very unique aerodynamics from what we've done in the past. How does that differ from the competition in the way that obviously you have cutouts here? I'm sure that some of your competition is walking by, taking a peek, maybe even a snapshot with a smartphone. How do you differentiate that, that technology and not, let it, and not let it be only to you and proprietary to Turbonetics? Well, what you see in the display units here are not exactly what's going to wind up being in the production pieces. We've, done, we've made alterations to the display pieces just for the being display pieces. So you've put us on the need-to-know basis and we don't need to know. Right. <laughs> yeah, you will. Well, if people want more information about Turbonetics and all of the great things that you're going to be coming up with 2014 and beyond, how do we get a hold of you and find out more about the products that you have? Well, either through www.turbonaticsinc.com or call directly into the office. Well, they are the, the owner of the largest turbo on the PRI floor. Brad Lewis, Dennis Pitzenbarger, Power Auto Media, PRI 2013. We'll see you soon.